So as that bell sounds, you see Chavo Guerrero in that ring, ready, able, and willing to face Jack Victory. Victory is upset because some of the fans have been telling him what they think of him. And of course, that could upset most any man. Referee in this match is called Fergie as Chavo Guerrero steps away and comes up ready. He wasn't sure what Jack Victory was going to do when he stepped back away from that rope. Now he knows. Now he's certain of it. Now as Victor Victory moves in, he moved in there not only with a grip on the hair, but that putting his head underneath the chin of Chavo Guerrero and pushing away. And believe me, that in itself is sometimes one of the most dangerous weapons in wrestling. So Chavo follows up as he always does. All of the Mexican wrestlers whom I have known in my career, I have always classed Chavo as one of the most capable, mainly because he learned wrestling while he was still in the crib and mainly because he is still willing and able to come up with the unexpected one or two of his moves in the past couple of cards here at the Sam Houston Coliseum have topped anything that I have seen in wrestling. And I think most of you are aware of that tremendous backflip that he does that catches his opponent and takes him down to the canvas. That in itself is the most dangerous thing that I have seen a man do with his body. Hard smashing by Victory that time. Even better for Chavo. And Chavo caught him coming in. Oh! Swung that foot around right at the right time. Not only swung it, but it hit its mark and hit well. On top is Chavo. Not for long, though. In order to just plop on them, you have got to not only put weight on them, but you've got to tire them out before then. You've got to stun them. You've got to confuse them. You've got to punish them. You've got to take something out of them before you can fall on them and keep those shoulders down. Chavo is a former world's junior heavyweight champion. All he's using right now is a Japanese arm lock. And as he stands in there and applies the pressure, bends it down and back at the same time. You can see the danger for breaking a bone. Victory felt it. Victory got out of that predicament just as quickly as he possibly could. And Fergie was giving him a lesson, but you can bet that those eyes of Jack Victory just stared at him unblinkingly and said, I didn't do it. Reverse chin lock. Hold that could be converted to a sleep hold, but wasn't in this case. And if he finds that same spot again, it'll break. It did. Elbow, well placed. And you hit a man at the base of the skull or right on the bones of the neck, and you are getting him in a mood to knock your block off. In this case, he came close to doing that to Jack Victory. Here's one of Chavo's favorites, the reverse leg breaker. He's got it well applied, and as he leans backward, every inch he leans, manages to put extra pressure on the leg of Jack Victory. Victory's shoulders could go down. You see Chavo going down, but he goes down in a bridge. Gets the top of his head down on the canvas, but he has turned in now to relieve some of that in order to turn some attention. Notice how he comes up there. You can see why it's necessary to have a thick and solid neck. Chavo able to rise up with great weights as he continues his exercising. And then when he gets in the ring here, it comes in handy. But right now he's having his problems. And the problem is concerns his eye. And as it concerns his eye, we've got the um, the effort of Jack Victory coming out on top, a foot in the belly, and believe me, that is a tough one to take. On Friday night at the Sam Houston Coliseum, Jack Victory will he will be 
wishing that he was in there with Chavo Guerrero because Chavo Guerrero is going to be taking on Buddy Rogers and uh, there will be no switching of opponents as far as Chavo is concerned. Swing and the switch and the slam into that um, turnbuckle and he's still worried about that face and that eye. But if you can see your target loom up in front of you, you can catch it with that swinging blow that you've done exactly what you came to do. Caught him, clothesline, caught him under the chin. There's one, there's two, and, and it was close. He couldn't hook that leg and he couldn't turn it up. And while he was struggling for it, Chavo Guerrero found the way to get out of trouble. And he dropped him squarely on his head and shoulders. There's one, there's two, and that was awful close. There again, that figure four hole around the chin that can be turned into a choke hole, but is not. It can be turned into a sleep hole, but in this case it is not. Listen to those fans. Chavo, Chavo, Chavo. Chavo is man enough to be inspired by the support of his fans in Houston as he rises up there through sheer power absolutely sheer power he looks for something to do and he found it that elbow of his has caught victory in the midsection tonight about a half a dozen times and it gets over well for Chavo's future well placed pair of feet he come in there and caught him right on the button Chavo trying to set him up now oh, 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 oh. there he used not the fist but the forearm and again as he comes in he swings that forearm into, into the midsection and all the rest of his arm comes up there in the direction of the face. There's Chavo and watch! Well, Jack Victory had maneuvered and there's a kick. That leap off the ropes thrills me after all these years to watch him the way that he is able to do it. There's another Chavo move as he does a back body drop and follows right in there to pin Jack Victory. that Chavo Guerrero will be using against Freebird Buddy Roberts at the Sam Houston Coliseum on Friday night. And Buddy's a tough opponent, but Chavo knows how to handle himself. And right now, he looks up there at Jack Victory as though Victory may have made another mistake. His first was treating Chavo just a little bit too lightly. And here comes Chavo ready to punctuate his feelings about victory and turning it into defeat he went spinning over there there's that's the charm of Chavo that he can miss a maneuver and then turn it into something else and if victory is smart he will turn and head in the direction of the dressing room he is, it has been proven twice that Chavo Guerrero is not whoops Well, as Chavo sits in the ring and waits for Jack Victory to step in, he's merely proving to the fans here and to Jack Victory that he's not going to run away. He's just going to sit there and wait for Victory to come to him. It already came to him. But now, as he tries to turn it into a permanent affair, referee Carl Fergie says, no, this match is over. You have lost. Victory has a way of changing his mind. And we'll be back here again in just a moment.